Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Yo-Yo Man with Barnsley. In today's episode, we've got two games in the championship. One against Middlesbrough and one against Blackburn. I wanted to bring you the West Ham game today, but it has been postponed due to... Uh, not postponed, but rearranged due to a cup competition. So it's going to be Middlesbrough today. They are currently sitting in third position. So it's going to be a very tough test to test out our squad and see how good it is. But we are at home, so you never know. Following on from the draw against Redden in the league, we then went to the League Cup first round at home against Tranmere and managed to come away with a 3-1 victory. Malik Wilkes with two goals and Apo Halmir with one goal. Both players who don't regularly start for me, but they got some game time today and they did well. Next up was an away tie against Huddersfield. It was a pretty even game, to be honest. Gonzalo Ramos put us in front 11 minutes in. Then Nasser Shadley missed a penalty for Huddersfield to level things up in the 38th minute. And they sort of collapsed after that. Sebastiano Esposito and Ian van der Heerde getting the other goals to see us through safely. We then went away from home against Wigan and won 2 nil. Ian van der Heerde and Esposito with the goals. Crystal Palace up next. Fr freshly relegated Crystal Palace. And we absolutely smashed them 4-1. Dimitri Basoli with the penalty in the 40th minute. Alex Mowat with two goals from central midfield. And Marcel Tisserand with his first goal for the club. We then faced Premier League opposition in the League Cup second round and we went through on penalties. It took a Bruno Costa 89th minute equaliser after Guido Carrillo had put them in front 8 minutes in from the penalty spot. But we won the penalty shootout and we are through beating Premier League team. And we dominated them as well. Absolutely delightful. And finally was a home game against Lincoln City which we absolutely dominated on 1-5-0. Sebastiano Esposito with a hat-trick, Reese Nelson with one and Gonzalo Ramos with the other. So this is how the Skybet Championship looks after those runner fixes we currently sit top of the table. Two points clear from West Ham and only three points clear from today's opponent Middlesbrough. We will be facing Blackburn in the other game who are struggling right now only on six points after seven games. So if we can get a, if we can get a good result against Middlesbrough and Blackburn today maybe we can pull ourselves away a little bit more. So this will be the lineup for today's game. Jamal Blackman will start in goal. Kavaria makes his return after injury. This will be his first start since he got injured. Batella and Halmir will be our centre-backs as Tisserand is struggling a little bit with his conditioning so I didn't really want to risk him in case of injury. Tony Herrero will start at left-back. Dimitri Basoli in the defensive midfield role. Moat in the centre. Uh, Arjen van der Heerde, Gonzalo Ramos and Rhys Nelson in behind Esposito. Now Middlesbrough caused us numerous problems um, last season. I'm pretty sure they beat us in one game. Um, but Britta Sombolonga, I remember scoring against us. They've still got a very good side for the championship. But uh, I think we at least match them now and maybe we can get a win. Out of all the players we signed in the summer, Esposito has been an absolute revelation for us up top. Hopefully he can continue his good goal scoring form today. He did win player of the month for August as well with 8 goals in 7 games. But the highlight is not uh, exactly what we want to be seeing right now. Middlesbrough on the attack. We managed to get rid of it somehow. Reese Nelson with the header on. But they can maintain their possession and the pressure on this right hand side through Rafael Camacho, we're out of him, it's back to Paddy McNair, Moat comes in and pinches it and Reese Nelson now can come down this left hand side, he's run the entirety of the pitch here, he gets to the byline, he's going to whip it back, he doesn't, he gets tackled by Paddy McNair and is it going to actually be a Borough counter attack, a very very much end to end stuff, Patterson has found himself in behind our defence, he goes for goal, oh Jamal Blackman, come on son, you should be doing a lot better with that opportunity, but he palms it back out to Jamie Patterson and he gets the first goal of the game, his first goal of the season and he puts Middlesbrough 1-0 up. We sort of fell asleep there after the counter-attack from us. Uh, Jamal, uh, the less said about that the better. Rebound goal for Middlesbrough, not ideal start, 1-0. Straight away there's another highlight and it looks like it's going Middlesbrough's way. Again the ball's played in, we clear through Kavaria and Ian van der Heerde can bring it forward this time and he just drives through the middle of the uh, Middlesbrough defence. Goes for goal, but it's a good save by Randolph. Um, the, and the, the Middlesbrough defence just parted ways there, completely leaving them open. But we weren't able to take advantage of it. And this is likely to lead to, to nothing. And there we are. So it remains Barnsley nil, Middlesbrough 1. We're going to go off attack and then go to a more balanced team mentality. Uh, Middlesbrough are dominating the game in terms of possession and shots right now, according to the match stats. So uh, we need to get into the game more, keeping possession a little bit better. And hopefully being able to craft some chances because this first half has been pretty dire. And there we have it for the first half. Middlesbrough in a little bit of domination from them really. Uh, not ideal, especially at home against a, 
well, we're not we're not in the title challenge right now, but we could be. So getting getting beat today would be a significant dent in them hopes. But there is a highlight. Six minutes into the second half, Tony Herrera with the ball on the left hand side, a false Esposito in the box, and another good save for Randolph keeps Middlesbrough ahead. Reese Nelson with a free kick from deep. He plays it in. It's cleared by the Middlesbrough defence. They've got nobody up top, but Tavernier can bring it forward and wait for some support. Bissoli, though, gets in there and does his job in defensive midfield and wins the ball back. Reese Nelson in behind for Esposito. Oh, man, please. Randolph, just let us score a goal, mate. Let, let's go to the equaliser, please. Uh, Reese Nelson with a corner. Is it going to lead anything? Calmier? No. Gonzalo Ramos keeps the ball alive. Plays it to Bissoli, who goes for goal. Nah, this is not going to be anything. Tony Herrera with a throw in deep in Middlesbrough's half. Esposito is there with the header straight at Randolph. I don't believe that was the highlight. It's Middlesbrough come down the right-hand side with Rafael Camacho. The ball's played all the way through to Blackman. That was an awful pass. And maybe we will be the one with the advantage of this highlight. The ball finds its way to Reese Nelson who... Co oh my God, that's just dreadful. Arjen van der Heerde has picked up a knock on that right-hand side. We've got Malik Wilkes on the bench. He can come on and replace him. I've just made that substitute football manager. I got there before you. You know what? If we are to get beat today, I'm not overly concerned about it. You know, we have started fantastically. We've got a lot of young players, a lot of new players as well who need bedding into the team, increasing our team cohesion. So it's not the end of the world if we get beat, but ideally we wouldn't. Reese Nelson with a free kick. Plays in back post. David Patel is there. He gets his first goal of the season and brings the score level. Barnsley 1, Middlesbrough 1. We needed that. I've went very attacking. I need to take it off just in case we end up throwing this away. But we have we have been banging on the door this second half, and I think that goal is thoroughly deserved. Only four minutes of injury time. We managed to make the change back to attacking from very attacking, but Middlesbrough are the ones in the attack now. Asan Belonga plays it back to wing, who plays it outside to shot on this left-hand side. They're keeping possession well. We are closing them down, but we're not really looking like we might make the interception. But there it is. Reese Nelson makes the interception. Can we break? Bruno Costa tries to set away Esposito. He's in behind the defence. Come on. Oh my God. How was that not went in? It even rippled the side net and it didn't go into the back of the net. Oh, that would have been perfect. Would have been absolutely perfect. But never mind. It wasn't a B. Barnsley won. Middlesbrough won. I think we can feel a little bit aggrieved with that after the second half performance. First half, we were dreadful. Um, but at least it was a point and not a defeat. I just need to see the Esposito chance again. 91st minute, Esposito breaks through the back line. And this here, that's that's in. I don't care what football manager says. That is in. <laughs> just, why? Why is he doing this to me? Why? Let's slow this down. Let's play it. Esposito, that's... Oh, maybe it isn't in. <laughs> Obviously it isn't in. It hits the post. But it should be in. I refuse to believe. Van der Heerde is out for four months. Oh my God, what an absolute disaster. He was just, you know, he was getting better so well. <laughs> and now it's going to ruin his development. And he's probably, if we are to get promoted this season, after this injury, he's probably not going to be ready. Four to five months. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm absolutely gutted about that. Malik Wilkes now has the opportunity to um, boost his value. <laughs> He's going to get plenty of game time now, but that is absolutely gutting, losing him. So we're back for the Blackburn game, away from home. Uh, we have been forced to make a couple of changes, obviously. Try and put that eye in Van der Heerde injury behind me. Malik Wilkes comes in on that right-hand side. Uh, Bruno Costa comes in for Gonzalo Ramos as he's struggling a little bit. 90% is a little bit too low for my liking. Um, but otherwise, uh, Tisserand comes back in at centre-back as well. Cavaria keeps his spot at right-back. Uh, Tony Herro Herrero, the same at left back. And I think this is how we're going to start. So let's submit the team and get the kickoff. First highlight of the game. It's a corner to us cleared. But we keep possession. Moat on this right uh, right hand side. Plays it back to Tisserand. Don't lose the ball. Please don't lose the ball. Cavaria switches the player to uh, Bissoli. Tony Herrero finds Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson really needs to step up now. Um, now that Ian van der Heerde is no longer going to be with us for five months he needs to start really producing the goods he hasn't really done it so far he's more than capable he's got the attributes but um we haven't really seen it just yet another highlight now jadas with the corner for blackburn clear by tisserand and bruno costa brings it under control and just calms everything down which is exactly what you like to see cavaria 
plays the ball for Wilkes down this right hand side. He's got Esposito in the box. He tries to find him. It's a poor cross in the end, really. And oh, don't, don't tiss around. Well done, my son. Moat with the ball over the top for Wilkes on the right hand. Esposito was there from post and he goes just wide. Another corner. This time it's Bruno Costa take and it's cleared. Only as far as Basoli. And oh my God, what a goal this is. If this isn't goal of the season, we must have scored some absolute corkers. Bruno Costa here with the corner. It's cleared. He's backtracking first time volley. That is that is absolutely beautiful. Reminds me of John McGinn's goal for Aston Villa. That's just absolutely perfect way for us to go 1-0 up. Now, let's not throw it away, lads. Highlight straight away. And that's never usually a good sign. Nyland with the ball over the top. Batella deals with it expertly. And Tony Herrero tries to set away Esposito. Does he drag the defender back or does he time warp? I have no idea. But it goes wide. We give the ball away to Adam Armstrong on the uh, centre circle. And he gets past Tisserand. He's in in the box now. What a challenge that is by Cavaria who gets back and dispossesses uh, Armstrong who looked sure at the score. Basoli tries to find Esposito over the top. The balls over the top are causing Blackburn central defenders all sorts of problems. Unfortunately, we couldn't capitalise and we retain possession. Now, Tony Herrero finds Esposito with the ball over the top. Nyland with another good save. It was offside anyway, but again with the balls over the top. And that's going to be it for the first half. Blackburn nil, Barnsley won. We are performing incredibly well and we should probably find ourselves 2 or 3 nil up, but never mind. We'll uh, continue trotting along and see if we can get some more goals. First highlight of the second half comes 60 minutes in. Tony Herrero with the cross. It's cleared by Blackburn. And maybe the encounter with Adam Armstrong on this left-hand side. He hasn't got many options uh, bombing forward for him. So he has to go it alone. And he does it alone. His fourth goal of the season. Blackburn a level. I'm not watching the replay. It was a fantastic goal. Is it going to be another game where we dominate but can't take advantage? Reese Nelson's going to come off. We're going to bring um, Esposito on to that left-hand side. And we're going to bring Corley Woodrow on up top. We're also going to take off Bruno Costa for Gonzalo Ramos. And I think that's the two attacking changes we want to make as Cavaria comes down the right-hand side. Just ugh, I don't even know what happened with that cross, but it was dreadful. Adam Armstrong set away again down this left-hand side. He, he, is he a genius? Is he an absolute genius? He must be. He keeps completely doing our defenders. He's having a fantastic game for Blackburn up top. And finally, our substitutes go through. And there's another highlight with seven minutes to go. Armstrong does Cavaria again. And ugh, it's a good job his finishing's absolutely terrible because he's doing our uh, strikers constantly. Four minutes to go. Moat driving forward from midfield finds Esposito on his unusual left-hand side. Esposito's had a poor game today. Had a really, really poor game today. He's on a 6.3. We'll demand more from the boys. It looks like it's going to be back-to-back -back draws. Or oh, if he's injured, I am going to be furious. I'm going to be furious if he's injured. We haven't really got the options in central midfield to be able to replace him. But there we are. Blackburn won, Barnsley won. Another disappointing result here. We should have been out of sight in this game uh, before the end of the first half. But our clinicalness seems to come and go in little bits and spurts. And that saves us drop to second position. West Ham go above us. Uh, we are both still the only undefeated teams in the league, but three draws for us, two draws for them, sees them take the advantage. Please see more. It's not injured for long. Four to five weeks. I mean, come on. We've got way well, at least two players, probably three players on long-term injuries who will be starting. Um, if the game wants to do me like that, then fine. But <laughs> but whatever. But anyway, looking forward to the next episode. I do want to bring you a West Ham game, so it's going to be West Ham Leeds in the next episode. West Ham away from home should be a big game. We've got a long run of uh, away games, so we're going to have to make sure we get some points on the board before that. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.